Hey, what's up, guys? You know, I want to comment on something that um, I heard earlier. Uh, the interview or the video that I referenced earlier with T Street uh, when it came to the Alvarez versus Kovalev 2 uh, fight, the rematch that will be airing on ESPN. And he talked about how uh, Kathy Duva chose ESPN and top rank over Eddie and the zone. All right. Uh, Eddie was trying to get this fight broadcasted, uh, aired on the zone. All right. And full disclosure, if uh, you do not know, uh, I am an Eddie and the zone supporter. Um, now, T Street said that. Um, you know, Eddie wanted that fight so bad, you know, on the zone. Yeah, he has dates to fill and money to spend. And I've heard him referencing, uh, you know, main events, Kathy Dua, Sergey Kovalev, in um, videos, interviews. Uh, T Street said that Eddie wanted that fight so bad that he uh, had his father, Barry Hearn, talk to Kathy Dua, trying to convince her to uh, do that fight. Uh, with the zone with Eddie and um, Kathy to do with the client and she chose ESPN this is what T Street said now this does not surprise me because uh, a few months back um, I think it was probably before the Kovalev Alvarez fight in an interview I heard um, Kathy Duva saying right there on YouTube I heard her saying that um, you know HBO is um, you know, it's like the McDonald's, uh, you know, of boxing. It's like the, you know, the premier choice, you know, the number one network, um, you know, the top name brand in boxing, you know, and I understood where she was coming from. And, uh, yes, uh, HBO, uh, does have a rich history. Um, and as, uh, T Street said, it appears that HBO, uh, you know, they did not even pick up the option for this fight. They apparently have moved on from Kovalev. You know, they see the decline that I see. They, um, you know, they just, they, they dumped with the guy, man. They got the best out of him, and now they want to move on. Um, you know, and I, let me just take a, a moment right now to say to all these fighters that are claiming loyalty to networks and shit, you know, pay attention. Pay attention. As I said, once these networks uh, get what they need out of you, get what they want, you know, you cannot produce for them anymore. You're not a winner anymore. You know, they they will drop you, man. They're not going to be loyal to you. Like, you being loyal to them, claiming us loyalty stuff. You know? So, you know, it's, it, it, these fighters, they better get what they can get. Go for the best deals. Get the most money. And uh, forget this loyalty talk, man. Because cause you will be dropped. Just like they dropped Kovalev, man. You know, they're not Aaron Pacquiao fights no more either, so... You know, but, um, you know, I'm doing this video, man, uh, to ask the question, you know, did Kathy Duva make a mistake in, uh, did she make a mistake in choosing ESPN over the zone? Now, I don't know the particulars of what happened, the details of the deals, but, you know, just from my own assumption sitting here, and I have not watched any uh, in-depth videos looking into it. I don't know if Eddie's made any statements uh, talking about it. But, um, you know, let me just say what I think, what I feel about it. Um, and, yes, I do feel that Kathy Duva made uh, a mistake. It's like uh, she made some mistakes with the the whole Kovalev war debacle, which I'll get into in a second which I, I have wanted to do a video on. I thought about doing a video on. Uh, and now is the perfect time to get into that. All right. Now, why do I feel she made a mistake? All right. Uh, the way I'm viewing it, as an outsider, not looking into it, as I said, the way I'm viewing it is this is kind of a one-off with ESPN. You know, top rank ESPN, they picking up the uh you know airing this fight on uh on ESPN uh you know Kovalev is not a champion uh you know if if he loses 
you know, I think that'd pretty much be it for Kovalev, man. Um, you know, why, why would top rank slash ESPN be trying to, um, you know, air Kovalev fights when he is on a two-fight losing streak and he has, you know, official losses to Andre Ward? You know, everybody will say that he's on decline he's finished, you know. So I think it's kind of a do-or-die situation as opposed to if she done a deal with Eddie in the zone. You know, I think she probably could have got, you know, at least a two-fight deal out of it. You know, with this fight and, you know, win or lose another fight with Eddie. You know, and on top of that, I think Eddie uh, definitely would have and probably offered Cat to do with more money than ESPN slash Top Rank did. You know, I strongly believe that, man. You know, uh, if he if he had his his dad trying to talk her into it, I'm sure he 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 may have off. I wouldn't be surprised if Eddie offered a double, man. What top ranking ESPN were willing to pay? And Kathy Duva, as I mentioned before, she went with the more name brand established uh, entity in ESPN over the zone. You know, uh, you know to, to Kathy Duva. You know, is ESPN investing a billion dollars into boxing like the zone is? You know, you know think about that. Uh, you know, look, you know, look at all these promoters uh, partnering up with Eddie, getting their their slice, their piece of the billion dollars. You know, Yvonne Michelle, Lou DeBella, uh, 360 promotions, formerly K2 promotions. You know, the guys partnering up with uh, Eddie and the zone, man. You know, getting their piece of the uh billion dollar pie. You know, the the uh, checks will clear with uh the zone and uh the perform group. You know, so uh you know I think I think this might have been a, a short sighted move. Uh, like again, this is me on the outside looking in, you know. Uh but I think she probably could have got a two fight guarantee with more money working with Eddie man. You know, even if Kovalev was to lose he could, he, could, he could get an extra fight with the zone, you know, a, a possibly quote-unquote retirement fight, you know, uh, you know, or whatever, you know, or a, a comeback fight, if you will, if he lost again to Alvarez. So, you know, because Kovalev, he is a name, he is a, you know, former champion, even if he lost, you know. So, you know, yeah, they could have used him to headline a show somewhere at some point in the States. You know, for more money than probably what, uh, you know, he is getting with ESPN. All right. Now, you know, uh, as, I, as I was saying, you know, she made some mistakes with the Andre Ward uh, situation. You know, of course, you know, the three American judges, you know, not having international judges in that fight. You know, that was a, that was a big mistake, man. Big, big mistake. You know, all three judges see the fight the same way. You know, they incorrectly scored the 10th round, I believe, all for a uh, war when anybody with eyes knows Kovalev won that round, I believe. Um, you know, and also, uh, she should have, uh, and this is, any promoter should, you know, should learn this, you know, uh, from this fight with these rematch clauses and stuff, you know, Kathy Dewey should have uh, mandated that uh, random blood and urine testing continued, uh, you know, throughout throughout that whole process, first fight and the second fight, you know, between between the first and second fight, random blood and urine testing should have kept going with both guys, you know, and uh, that would have assured more of a fair fight, you know, because I think Kovalev was not in a fair fight the second fight, man. Andre Wolf was a completely different guy, man. You know, completely different physique, completely, uh, you know, faster, stronger. You know, he he was not the same guy, man. You know, he was not subjective testing between fights. Kovalev was, and you know, he did not even look look like the same guy, man. You know, it was a completely different guy in there with Kovalev. So, um. You know, that's another mistake, man. You know, and, and Eddie, he made a kind of a similar mistake, you know, when Errol Spence got dropped out of WBC reigns and failed to enroll. But, you know, we still took the the uh, the fight with Errol Spence. As soon as he got dropped, he did not enroll in drug testing. 
he should have said, hey, you know, fights off. We're not fighting Errol Spence, man. You know, uh, you know, unless he starts testing today, right now, you know, when, when he got dropped. Other than that, you know, they should have vacated, said that's it. You know, we, we're not going to fight the guy. So, um, you know, if the IBF tried to force that fight on him. And also, you know, with the smaller uh, testing window, I think they only did like eight weeks of testing for that fight. It is learned that uh, really it should be uh, at least, you know, 16 weeks, uh, you know, with the testing. So, you know, 12 to 16 weeks, I believe I heard him say once on video. Um, so, you know, that's another lesson that was learned by a promoter, you know. Uh, you know, learn the hard way with experiences, you know. So, um, you know, Kathy Duva made some mistakes. And, uh, you know, I think it's possible, man, she she made a mistake. I would love for somebody to uh, ask Eddie, get details from Eddie on, you know, um, you know, what what did you offer Kathy Duva? Uh, you know, should she have, uh, you know, taken your offer, man? Get some details on the money and uh, longevity of what Eddie had to offer, man. You know, I, I truly believe without looking into it, guys, I think, Kathy Duva and Sergey Kovalev are in a do or die one off situation. You know, Kovalev has to win this belt, man. He has to get it back. Or, uh, you know, he's going to be a fighter without a belt, without a network, without a contract. You know, you know, then, then you know, then he may have to try to uh, get on the zone, man, because, you know, HBO won't be airing him. I doubt Showtime will want to, you know, put him in with anybody. You know, why would ESPN top rank, you know, uh, have anything for him, you know, I think, uh, I think the future could have been more secure doing a deal with Eddie in the zone, man, you know, doing this fight and then guaranteeing a second fight, win, lose, or draw, you know, probably getting paid more money for, uh, both fights, so, you know, again, this is me assuming, not looking into it, not knowing the details, but I got a feeling that, that this is what it is and what happened. And uh, I would love for Eddie to come out and uh, give details, man, to confirm, to uh, say what it was, man. You know, a great uh, potential opportunity. You know, Kathy Duva, you know, more stuck on, established on the name, the name brand things. You know, maybe you should look at this as a new, exciting opportunity, man, for uh, main events and for Surrey Kovalev. So, you know, I think that's it, guys. Um, you know, let me know what you think, man. And uh, I will check in with you guys soon, man. Thanks for watching.